Google searches for Lion's Mane has dramatically increased over the last five years. Everybody wants to find out how Lion's Mane can be beneficial for them. Personally, I think Lion's Mane is powerful. And in this video, I'm going to discuss my top four benefits of Lion's Mane as well as some concerns. There's a lot of chatter about dips in testosterone too. So if you want to understand how Lion's Mane can positively benefit you, then watch this video. Let's go. Lion's mane is a type of mushroom that has been used in traditional Chinese medicine for centuries. It gets its name because of the white flowing tendrils resembled that of a lion's mane, lion's hair. I first started using lion's mane around November 2020 in its powdered form and I loved it. But the history of this mushroom goes back millennia. The first written documentation of lion's mane can be tracked back to the Tang dynasty in China between 1618 to 907 AD. After that period, its influence grew to a peak in the Japanese Edo era and that's between 1603 to 1867 where it was used for the heightening of concentration during meditation. And its key part of this is, is people didn't always meditate every day and this is a sign that not all things should be consumed every day but more on this later when we talk about dosage. The 1950s saw an increased interest in research into lion's mane as well as other mushrooms for their compounds which potentially have medicinal effects. Fun fact, some drugs have their history tied to mushrooms and an example of this is penicillin which was originally derived from fungi and mushrooms is a type of fungi. Moving towards the 2000s, popularity for lion's mane started to increase in the west. And this is especially due to the increase in commercial cultivation which made lion's mane a lot more accessible and today lion's mane is one of the most popular medicinal mushrooms and I believe it's for good reason like lion's mane is powerful but before I get into the benefits let me address this comment and this comment asks does it lower DHT and thus does it lower libido? Firstly, I couldn't find any evidence of its potential lowering of DHT, just some anecdotal evidence. And some studies were actually mentioned for reishi, not lion's mane because they have a very similar name. So in my opinion, I do not think it decreases DHT. Also, the link between DHT and libido is not that clear. The percentage of men who report a loss in libido whilst taking DHT blockers is small. Some men experience decreased libido even when they have high testosterone so the link isn't as clear and the only source that I really found spoke about a balancing effect so in conclusion I do not believe it's something you have to worry about I've been taking and enjoying lion's mane and for me I've seen positive changes if you know what I mean so if that's useful so far make sure you drop a like make sure you drop a comment and subscribe my voice has been playing up but still we are releasing weekly videos because we can't stop won't stop so Without further ado, let's get into the benefits. The first benefit of Lion's Mane is its brain performance benefits. In particular, cognitive speed and cognitive performance. And personally, I play a lot of chess, right? Chess.com, add me as a friend if you're good, don't go book. For the chess players, they'll tell you that when stress is low and cognition is high, you tend to be on fire. And whilst getting back into Lion's Mane and taking it more often, because I cycle between different herbs and mushrooms, as you all know. Recently, I was on fire. I had a run of a lifetime in chess. I went from 1543, which is low for me. I'm normally around the 1600s, to 1842 in a very short space of time, which was top 100,000 in the world. And I believe that Lion's Mane had a huge part to play in this. And there's some things or some benefits I mentioned within this video that I believe helped. For example, firstly, Lion's mane contains compounds that may stimulate nerve growth factor production in the brain. NGF plays a big role in memory, learning and overall cognitive function. In one study, patients with MCI took 3 grams of lion's mane per day over the course of 16 weeks and what they found was an increased performance on a cognitive test. In another study, lion's mane increased neurotransmitters associated with healthy cognitive functions like serotonin and dopamine. In general, studies have shown that lion's mane can help modulate both serotonin and dopamine, playing a crucial role in mental well-being. And it appears that it's a dual function. So what I mean by that is that it can increase dopamine in those who need that increase in motivation and that increase in overall sense of well-being because their dopamine levels is, is low. And on the other hand, it can act as a regulator for those who have excessive dopamine release prevented overstimulation which could lead to addiction and anxiety. This lends me to my second benefit of lion's mane. Lion's mane can help reduce physical 
and mental stress. One key reason for the increase in stress and anxiety in today's world is the increase in stresses, the inability for the body to deal with the stress and the increase in inflammation due to diet and other lifestyle factors. Lion's Mane might potentially help with all three. Lion's Mane has anti-inflammatory properties that contribute to the reduction in inflammation and also an increase in cognitive function. As mentioned previously, anyone who plays chess tells you it's hard to spot good plays. In life, and in chess when the body is inflamed when you're under stress when the mind is not all the way there and one of the reasons i believe i wanted this huge role was the balancing properties and balancing impacts of lion's mane on overall brain health memory and the body it's said that lion's mane may possess adaptogenic properties that help athletes and everyday people manage physical and mental stress helping the body return to balance return to homeostasis and one study in mice showed that lion's mane helps produce antidepressant like effects another showed that it reduces anxiety and depressive behaviors in mice although both of these studies were conducted in mice and cannot easily be extrapolated to humans there is some small studies in humans that show some positive impacts too. A small study of people who ate cookies contained in lion's mane over the course of four weeks reported less anxiety than those who were eating a placebo cookie. So this is good but before we move on to point three let me show you where I get my lion's mane from. This video is sponsored by Wellness Store which I found to be a great source of medicinal mushrooms and I'm pretty much almost done with mine and I'm waiting for my re-up to come. I've been using this brand since November and I think it's certified. Everybody who I've recommended this brand to has come back with some raving benefits so hopefully you can get those too. If you want to get yours use Paul at checkout to get 10% off. Click the link in the description or in the pinned comment. Let's go man, let's get powered by nature. The third benefit of Lion's Mane is its athletic performance benefits. Lion's Mane has been reported to be anti-fatigue, helping reduce fatigue in the body and help boost energy. For athletes, this is beneficial because it helps reduce physical fatigue, it helps increase recovery from a workout and provides fuel for the workouts. One study on mice showed that lactic acid were lower in the mice that consumed Lion's Mane compared to those in the placebo. So lactic acid is the byproduct of, of, of exercise, the slower it builds up the more likely you are to be able to push through and do more and this same study in mice showed an increase in athletic performance it showed that lions made increased tissue glycogen and glycogen is the muscles energy stores meaning that performance for these mice increased and if you couple this with the mental benefits the mood benefits it makes this mushroom a good candidate for athletes essentially making you better because think about it the less stressed you are the better performance the better recovery the better healing but generally its mood benefits are good because the better you do the better you can perform and couple that with the mental side of things it is powerful i think it's great the fourth benefit of lion's mane is its positive impact on the immune system and some early evidence suggests that lion's mane may help boost immunity and one of the ways apparently it does this is due to its digestion benefits and the positive changes in gut bacteria which improves the immune system and it's been reported that lion's mane can also help reduce chances of getting stomach ulcers there are other micro benefits of lion's mane too such as the increase in fat metabolism potential benefits to heart health and potential benefits to hair health the downsides or concerns of lion's mane is that most of these studies i mentioned were conducted in animals and it's very hard to extrapolate to humans although these are positive outcomes it makes understanding the dosage or how long it should be taken for and potential long-term impacts somewhat unknown you know, currently I take my lion's mane once or twice a week, two capsules, and this works for me. And I think with any new herb, it's also good to start slow. But if you're on medication right now, be mindful, especially if you're on, let's say, blood thinners or medication for blood clotting or blood sugar, perhaps stay away from this or consult a medical expert before trying. As of any herb, mushroom, start slow, and see what the impacts are and then take it from there. Hope that video has been beneficial. If you wanna know where I get mine, click the link in the description, use Paul for 10% off. And before you go, check out this video on the benefits of CMOS. See you guys on the next one, peace.